Hey you guys, Erin and baby Olivia here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So today I'm going to be sharing a highly requested and long time coming video with you guys. It's going to be my natural beauty and skincare routine. So this is going to include everything that I use from moisturizers and cleansers to cosmetics. So all of my clean, eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free makeup products that I've been using and loving for the past couple of years since I've upgraded everything to super natural and clean products. Products. So before we jump right into my makeup and skincare routine, I'm gonna just preface this by saying I have always been self-conscious about my skin. So in the early days, it was always acne and breakouts and hormones, and then it turned into being really concerned with freckles and moles and sunspots, sun damage in general, to now being in my 30s, my main concern is my skin looking less plump and noticing more fine lines and wrinkles starting to appear. On the other other side, you don't just want to focus on what you're putting onto your skin for better skin, but what you're putting inside your body. So it's really going to help to nourish from the inside out. So I've definitely noticed since going plant-based, everything has really calmed down a lot. Not as many breakouts, but I will say the times when I've noticed where my skin it looks less youthful and I get breakouts is when my body is breaking down also. So it seems to me like beauty and immunity definitely go hand in hand, and I've recently been taking daily immunity by Peak Tea, which has been phenomenal. So it's amazing because it contains elderberry and it contains vitamin C. So not just any vitamin C, but liposomal vitamin C, which is maximized for absorption, which means you're going to get the most bang for your buck. So why vitamin C? Not just to support your immune system, as we've all been told, but also because it's fantastic for promoting your body's innate collagen production. So a couple fun facts that I've learned recently is that that 70 to 80% of our skin is made up of collagen, which is what keeps our skin elastic, smooth, supple, plump, and youthful. The other interesting and not so comforting fact is that our collagen production starts to break down in our 20s. So me being in my 30s, I have focused a lot more on anti-aging skincare products, but also anti-aging supplements and fruits and veggies. So you guys know I'm all about my berries. They're super high in antioxidants, but having that added boost helps as well. So absolutely love and can't recommend the Daily Immune from Peak Tea enough. If you guys are interested in checking it out, definitely check the link in the description below. They rarely give out discounts, but they said they would do Eat Move Rest for 5% off. Plus, if you order two cartons or more, you actually get free shipping as well. But regardless, you'll get 5% off on their website. They'll also note that they have fantastic tea selections. Everything is USDA organic. Whether or not you do caffeine, if you do coffee and you're trying to kick it, like we talked about in our recent video, they have amazing green teas and black teas that again are super clean. They have tons of herbal elixirs and the thing that I love is that a lot of their teas are hot or cold water soluble so they have crystal tea that comes in a cool little packet you can dump it straight into your water bottle and shake it up without having to boil it especially in these hot summer days it's been my go-to way to consume my herbal teas and there aren't any fillers or preservatives or chemicals no refined sugars so thank you again to today's video sponsor peak tea you guys have definitely got to check them out as you guys know I'm now a mama of of two, so I've got my hands full. I have less and less time in front of the mirror where I used to spend hours listening to podcasts powdering my face up. And on top of that, Dusty has told me time and time again, you look much better with a more natural makeup look. So I'm gonna give you guys this look today and show you what products I use right now. Today, I'm just gonna run through my natural beauty makeup routine that I typically do on a weekday. So this isn't like full on what I would do on like a Friday going out for a special occasion, but this is just what works for me that literally takes me maybe 10, 15 minutes in the bathroom in the morning. Everything that I'm using today as far as skincare and cosmetics go are going to be completely vegan, cruelty free, and the nice thing is they're all plant-based and the makeup is fruit pigmented, which is super cool. So I've been absolutely in love with the skincare products I've been using the past few years because not only do they help accentuate my features, they also aid in anti-aging, which being in my 30s now is something I pay more close attention to. So I love that a lot of these products are helping to nourish my skin 
skin to build up that natural collagen production as well as aid in reducing fine lines and wrinkles, sunspots, hyperpigmentation, and just to help my skin look more revitalized and youthful and glowing. I will link all of these products below as well as any discount codes that might apply. So here I sit with a totally blank slate. I just washed my face with my favorite cleanser from 100% Pure. So this is the fermented rice water cleanser. I love it because it's USDA organic. The thing I love about this cleanser is that it doesn't overly dry your skin out. So a lot of them can leave your skin feeling really tight. This one doesn't seem to do that for me. Right after I cleanse, then I like to hydrate. So this actually has 6.0 pH water from our Kangen water machine downstairs, which is ideal for balancing the pH of your skin. It also helps aid in the absorption of things like my vitamin C serum or whatever moisturizers or serums you're using. So I first like to hydrate my skin, then apply my serums. And I should note, I also add rose water. So I find rose water on Amazon and I add a little bit to my water. My absolute favorite serum, again, this is 100% pure. This is the vitamin C serum. Vitamin C, as we all know now, is amazing for helping your body produce more of its own collagen, which keeps you looking younger and more youthful. It gives you a little bit more plumpness to your skin. So this is definitely a favorite that a friend of mine turned me on to from 100% Pure quite a while back and I cannot live without it. It's just so hydrating and refreshing and I find that in the summertime I don't really need to put on a whole lot of moisturizer if I use this, it's so hydrating. I should also mention this is the lip balm that I usually like to put on after I cleanse my face. So this is Buddha Butter Creamy Cocoa Eco Balm. I love it because it's got like a chocolatey smell to it and super simple ingredients, only a couple ingredients. So then let's say it was a little bit drier outside. Then my favorite moisturizer is by 100% Pure. This is the Green Tea EGCG Concentrate Cream. This is extremely high in antioxidants. So EGCG is actually the extract from green tea that's ridiculously high in antioxidants that really helps with anti-aging. And I should mention that that one is guy friendly too. Dusty loves that one, so we go through it quickly. And so if you're like me and you smile with your eyes, then you tend to get crow's feet or these lines right here, which I don't really mind. I kind of like them, but as you get older, those lines tend to sit there even when you're not smiling. So the product I like for my eye cream is the Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream because it's great for brightening and kind of de-puffing these down here. And it just kind of awakens your eyes a little bit and the best thing about this product is that it smells super super good again all of the 100 percent pure products are totally vegan cruelty free plant-based a lot of the makeup is fruit pigmented almost all of it any of the scents are coming from natural sources they're all plant-based nothing is artificial i should also give you guys a little disclaimer that i am not a cosmetologist <laughs> i'm not a beautician i'm probably not applying these all in the perfectly correct order or the correct way but this is just what works for me so I do know when you apply eye creams that you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's your most delicate and you really want to try to just dab as opposed to like rubbing and tugging too much on that delicate eye area. Now that we've got serums and possible moisturizers placed on the skin, then next up is the mattifying primer. So this one actually contains seaweed collagen and it's got such a unique feel to it that really helps my BB cream and my powders to just glide on very evenly without sticking or caking anywhere. So that is what it looks like. It feels so incredibly lightweight. It's almost like there's nothing on your skin and it's not like cool, like most creams feel cool when they're going on. This one is just like, oh, it's silky. It's so silky and soft and I absolutely love it. I never used to use a primer, but since I found this one, I'm a firm believer. One thing I make sure to always do is kind of blend everything down into my neck area just to make sure it's also moisturized and that the makeup matches. You know, every girl in high school, including myself, went through the time where they only put makeup here and not here. So you'd have a super tan face and then be pale down here like in December. <laughs> so the next one is this BB cream. This is the 20 Aglow shade from 100% Pure. And this one has aloe, it's super hydrating and it says it's medium to full coverage, but I feel like it's 
super unnoticeable. It gives my skin a slight tint, helps to even out my skin tone, and it protects it from the sun's harmful rays. It has a little bit of SPF in there um, from natural sources, again. And so it's nothing toxic. And this is something that I had to really do a lot of trial and error to get the right BB cream that worked with my skin type. So some of them are more glowy, some of them are more satin or matte finish. And I like that this one gives your skin a little bit of a glow, especially in the summertime, again, when it's, you know, hot and muggy anyways. There's really no point in trying to put something on your skin that's going to give it that matte finish. And I also feel like having a little bit of a glow helps to um, reduce the look of like the fine lines and things like that. So I just dab a little bit on my face. I usually start with my chin just because it seems to be the most prone to breakouts. So I start down there just in case I were to get any oils from my hair into my fingers. Then I at least know my chin has been done already. And you can see it's, it doesn't seem like it's too harsh of a coverage, which I don't want anything that's super cakey, but it does give my skin a little bit of a tinted glow. So I'm always looking for like the next best tinted moisturizer um, slash BB cream uh, that has sunscreen in it. And this one literally checked all of those boxes, so I haven't haven't had to do much searching since I found this one. Next up is the Second Skin Concealer, also 100% pure. If you're seeing a trend here, this video is not sponsored by them. So all I like to do with the concealer is I kind of go right here in my under eye area and then kind of blend it in up around the corner there. Um, I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. I think part of that is from Pregnancy, a lot of times women can get melasma, so I noticed it a little bit more this time than I did when I was pregnant with Max. So I had a girl, baby Olivia, um, just over a month ago, and I do know that like the hormones from being pregnant with a girl uh, can sometimes be more extreme to your body than when you're pregnant with a boy, and I did notice that. So I had hyperpigmentation right in here, which left me with like reverse raccoon eyes. So it's almost like instead of having dark rings, it looks like I have like tanning goggle lines right here. So it's fading a little bit, but this definitely helps to blend that like pale under eye with this like hyperpigmented area right here. So I like this one. It can also be great to like dab on any little acne or imperfections. So this is where my makeup either takes a turn for like the fancier look or for the more simple look. So for my more natural look, for my blush, I use this from 100% Pure. So again, this is totally fruit pigmented and this is like a lip and cheek stain. I only use it on my cheeks because I don't like the taste of it. It has a bitter taste. Um, so I only use it on my cheeks. If I was gonna go with my uh, more full-on makeup routine for a special occasion, I do have like a powder blush and a powder foundation, um, but this is what I like to use just for day to day. So I just dab some of this and you can see it looks extremely, extremely red. <laughs> but I just kind of take my middle finger and blend that as much as I can and you'll see it'll look better once I put the next step on but I just feel kind of naked without rosy cheeks, to be honest. I just feel like it gives my face a little bit more structure because I don't have a super uh, high cheekbone. Okay, so next up, I get out my makeup brushes. So I do have a full set. I only use about four or five of these. These are by Uve Beauty, I believe is how you say it. It's U-V-E. Yes, they are vegan and cruelty-free, but the other cool thing is that they're also antimicrobial. So I'm not sure exactly how it works, but if you get on their website, it explains it and it's super fascinating. So this really helps cut down on acne and I can vouch for that um, because I used to get a lot of breakouts here and around my hairline and I haven't as much since using these cleaner brushes. Next thing I like to do is add just a little bit of this powdered bronzer. So this is Bamboo Blur Powder from 100% Pure and the shade is tan. So I love this one, especially in the summertime, just to give my skin a little bit of that glow. Again, I'm already protected with natural SPF 
So then I can add this and this is my suntan so I don't actually have to tan my face. <laughs> and I don't like to use as much powdered makeup as I used to, especially getting into your 30s. You'll notice the fine lines might start to show up and if you put too much powder on, then makeup tends to sit in the cracks and just accentuate the lines. So this is really the only one that I use. Okay, so I sprinkled the bamboo blur on this piece of toilet paper so you guys could see the shade without spilling it, hopefully. This is the giant poofy brush that I like to use just because I feel like it helps to really evenly distribute the powder without it being just like clumpy in one spot. So again, this is just a very light dusting of this bronzer. Then again, getting down into that neck area a little bit. And then I just kind of like to go back over and accentuate the areas where the sun would naturally hit to kind of give it that overall sun-kissed look. Then I have this little eyebrow brush. I think I just found this on Amazon somewhere and I just like to kind of ship shape my eyebrows a little bit. I honestly don't pluck my eyebrows. They stay pretty shaped how they are. They could be a little thicker in my opinion, but I'm not really into the whole like painting on my eyebrows. But I do really like this Jane Iredale brush set for my brows. And I usually just like to do the ends a little bit where they kind of taper off. So I don't like to overdo it, like I said. I'm not big into big brows, but mine could use a little bit of TLC just on the corners there. And then sometimes I'll just kind of furl up that little area right there. <laughs> so again, super light. You almost can't even tell I did anything. Next up is this eyeshadow that's super natural. It's called Vanilla Sugar by 100% Pure. And I use this little brush for it. And I just do a couple sweeps across my eyelid. And then a couple more up above right here and below the brow. A little bit in the corner there just to give it a little glow. And that's it for eyeshadow. Again, you almost can't even tell it's there. When you're going for a natural look, you may not notice um, just the eyeshadow by itself or just the blush or just the bronzer by itself. But when you put all of these natural products together, you can tell on your own face at least. But when you go out in public, it's not gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's so cakey. <laughs> so I really like this look. So this is my favorite lip color right now. I actually get it on Amazon. It's by Echo Bella and the color is Tuscan rose so this is one reason I always make sure I have chapstick on first because my lips tend to be on the drier crackly side so if I have that balm on first then the lipstick just glides on a lot better it doesn't get stuck in the cracks anywhere so next up is this gloss that smells amazing from 100% pure I have a whole bunch of their glosses but I really love this mauve color and usually I'll just put a little bit of that on top and that's it for lips. So this is the concealer I use sometimes from 100% Pure. This is the White Peach, but pregnancy and postpartum have both treated my skin really well. I don't really get pimples or breakouts, which has been a godsend. So I don't really have to use this, but when I do have a little pimple that pops up, what I'll do is I'll just take a Q-tip, I'll dab it in here and just touch up as need be and kind of blend it in with my pinky finger. But no need for that right now, thankfully. So this is my favorite eyeliner. I just started using this 100% Pure product. So again, if you're looking to transition your makeup to more eco-friendly, vegan, just cleaner, more natural, I suggest just picking one or two products a month or if you're feeling more ambitious, one or two products a week to upgrade. So this has been my latest and greatest upgrade to 100% Pure and this is the black eyeliner. So I don't always wear eyeliner on my natural days, but when I do eyeliner, I only do it on the inner rim of my eyelids, not on the outer. Um, and I just find that it's less noticeable. It doesn't look quite so thick and dark that way. Again, trying to be careful on that eyelid, not to tug too hard. But I always go on the inner right there. This is a reason to use super clean eyeliner so it's nothing that's going to damage your eyes. And then I do like to do just a teeny little cat eye, but not too much. It just kind of gives my eyes a little bit more of that 
almond shape. It helps to lengthen them this way a little bit. And last but not least is my mascara. So this is the 100% pure fruit pigmented mascara that is the ultra lengthening and the color is black tea. So I've tried the brown just to see if it would look more natural with my hair color being that I'm blonde, but I do prefer the black. Usually if I'm going natural, I'll just do like two light layers. If I go with my more special occasion look, then I do have another mascara that I like to put on top of this one. So I'll do one layer of this and another of that. Try not making a face when you do mascara. It's really hard. <laughs> Normally in the mirror, I'm like, but for the sake of YouTube, I'm trying to not make funny faces and it's making it really hard. I do like to kind of wing my eyelashes out to the side a little bit so they have a slant that way as opposed to being straight up. Again, I just like my eyes to feel a little bit more elongated. And like I said, sometimes I'll do a second coat on my mascara just to kind of get a little bit more length in the very tips there. See what I mean with the funny faces? And finally, I don't like my lips to be super wet like this, especially if it's like windy outside. There's nothing worse than getting hair in your lip gloss. So I usually like to dab it and it kind of takes down the shade a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural like I'm going for. All right, you guys, so there you have it. This is my natural, clean beauty routine, skincare and cosmetics. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to, you can check out the links below in the description. They'll have discount codes, all of the products I referenced. And if you guys wanna see more beauty or more skincare type of videos, please let me know in the comments. So I would love to do my full on special occasion makeup look for you guys. This is just kind of my day to day look that I really enjoy. Again, if I wasn't shooting it for YouTube, it would probably only take me 10 minutes in the bathroom. And this is second day hair, so usually if I curl it like this and let it go, it'll stay like this for three or four days until I decide to wash it. If you wanna see me do a hair care video, I can do that as well. So if I spend just a couple times a week curling it like this, it usually sits and stays pretty nice and that cuts down on time every other day throughout the week. So I'd love to share a hair video for you guys as well. Definitely let me know. All right, you guys, I'm about to have me some fruit and some delicious rooibos tea. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to click all those links in the description if you want to check into anything that I mentioned in the video. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Leave me some love. Give me any tips, tricks, or suggestions that you might have. And follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and DB Stanzik. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanziks. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.